Since the first devlog, baking has developed quite a bit. There are now new items to craft and different ways to do it. Items left in the oven too long can now burn and need to be removed. Current orders show up in the top right hand corner of the screen and can even be timed out. There's even a new ingredient in the crafting menu. I've been having a kind of writer's block with how to approach the game. I can't decide if all the mechanics of the game mix together to create something entertaining. My thoughts have been this is basically the crafting part of Minecraft but with a timer and I didn't know if that was enough to make a game fun. I would like to add some sort of automation to the game, like a robot that helps in the kitchen. You wouldn't be able to make the game fully automated, but maybe as an upgrade, the robot could help move the burnt food. Obviously a scoring system needs to be put in, and I think that depending on how much burnt food is in the kitchen should affect the score. Also how quickly the order goes out should be a factor. Ways to get the game over will be dependent on multiple things like how much burnt food is around the kitchen and how long the orders take to leave the kitchen. I think I've decided that the game will have different levels, where it won't be a different kitchen layout in each level. It will be like a kind of prestige where you buy a refurb of the bakery kitchen, where new things will be added, but for the foreseeable, level 1 is the only level. I've spent a bit of time trying to improve the event sheet and construct to make it easier to read by condensing events with sub-events and labelling everything into groups. This has helped me improve my knowledge on how construct V works and how powerful it can be. I'm now going to talk through a short clip of the gameplay. So we start the game and there's a cookie in order, so you open the crafting menu and start to make the cookie. The interesting thing about the cookie is that you have to make the chocolate chips and then put them inside the cookie before you bake it. Other things, you have to bake it before you put any decorations on. A chocolate cake just popped up, which is like a normal cake, but you add one chocolate to it. So the cookie's ready and you take it out and take it to the window. And then it goes off of the order queue. Uh, so just making the icing for the cake. I forgot to put the cake in the oven, so the cake's in the oven now. And then a cookie just popped up on the order. So just making the next cookie. Yep, so the cake's done, take the cookie out, and then put place the icing on top of the cake, and then take that out as well. Yep, just making the air chocolate chips for the next cookie. Yep, I've added too much, so I'm taking off the flour that I didn't need. Uh, yep, put the cookie in the oven. Uh, get the donut made and then obviously that doesn't go in the oven that goes in the fryer the cookie's done get take that to the window yep just walking back decided to wait and get the donut for when that's ready place the donut down make the ice up that yep take that to the window In this clip, I just wanted to show off a few things about the order queue and the bare food and how that works. So there's a piece of bread on order, so I just put that into the oven. Yeah, and then whatever decided to make the cake first instead of giving the bread out for whatever reason. So I just started making the cake and put that into the oven. Make the icing for the cake. Grab the cake and then add the icing and yeah so you go to the window and it takes off the cake but keeps the bread on the same timer and then the donut has um obviously more time because that was added later on then i'm just going to show you that if you make something if you burn a piece of food and take it to the window it doesn't take it off the it doesn't take it off the order queue it's it's obviously not what someone ordered so and then you just walk up to the bin and place it in the bin i'm really happy with the addition so far and i already have plans of what to add in next but obviously that will be shown off in the next devlog what hmm? you, you, you still watching
that was it. That, that was the end of the video. I, I, I can't understand why you're still watching it. Uh, yeah, um, just go ahead and click off the video. Uh, see you in the next one.